Hi, it's Doug again. I hope you enjoyed chapter two, where we talk about holistic well-being in an organization. There's two final points that I just wanted to relate to you. One, we need to embrace holistic well-being as a cornerstone of leadership beyond 2028. In the ever-evolving landscape of leadership, success will be defined not only by financial achievements, but by the holistic well-being of individuals and teams. Leaders must recognize that fostering mental, emotional, and physical health is the integral to an organization's prosperity. Beyond 2028, prioritizing a culture that values work-life balance, mental resilience, and personal growth. By placing holistic well-being at the core of leadership, organizations can unleash the full potential of their teams, creating a sustainable and thriving future. The second point that I wanted to remind is that you need to lead with empathy and purpose for sustainable well-being. Looking forward, leadership success hinges on the ability to lead with empathy and purpose. Beyond 2028, Cultivate a workplace environment that prioritizes the emotional and mental health of team members. Leaders should actively seek to understand the unique challenges their teams face and provide support that goes beyond their traditional professional development. By aligning organizational goals with a genuine commitment to the well-being of individuals, leaders can foster a culture of purpose, resilience, and sustainable success in the years to come. Thank you.